Hi, this is John Stephen Gurney, and I'm going to be teaching drawing fundamentals at the MFA program in children's literature and illustration at Hollins University this summer. So I thought I would do a little drawing demo for you to give you a taste of what I'm going to be focusing on. So I'm going to do kind of a character design, a character sketch. And if this was an actual, you know, illustration assignment, I would, I would have done some preliminary studies, some composition sketches. But for this demo, I'm just kind of doing just a kind of a quick little study of what I think the character should look like. I hope this is showing up because I'm starting out very lightly, just kind of planning out where things are going to go. But I'll be getting darker soon. that way. Chin will be over here. Jawbone like that. I'm going to have to start getting darker. So yeah, we're going to be learning about working with value. We're going to be learning learn about working with line and contour and hatching and cross hatching. And all these different drawing techniques are just, you know, I like to think of them as the vocabulary. And I like to think of drawing itself as a description. So when we make a drawing, we're describing something. So I'm describing what this character looks like right now. He has kind of big eyes, doesn't he? Some shading in there, some crow's feet there, and I think now how's his mouth gonna go? Kind of going up like this. Come down with the shadow here a little more. And there's different kind of shadows. There's form shadows and cast shadows. And the form shadows generally have a soft edge, and the cast shadows usually have harder edges. So where his nose is going to catch, create a cast shadow that goes down like this. chin beard so the soul patch kind of goes here and it's got a big elf kind of ear standard you know central casting Spock issue ears Around here, these are different books that I've illustrated. I've illustrated, a, I wrote and illustrated this picture book, Dinosaur Train. I illustrated this picture book, The Bossy Pirate. Um, and this is a graphic novel I wrote and illustrated called Fuzzy Baseball. Number three is coming out. I also illustrated a lot of chapter books. So this is the A to Z Mysteries. That's one series I illustrated. I also illustrated the Bailey School Kids and the Calendar Mysteries. So I've been illustrating for a long time. You see a little less of the other ear sticking out over there. It's got his, uh, you know, it's kind of a union regulation. He's got to wear this kind of a, of a cap. So I've, I've, I've used line pretty much to make the major forms. I guess I'll give him the little collar there. Looks like he's working at uh, the Macy's at the Santa's department. Santa's department is here. Okay, so now I'm going to start shading a little bit more, coming with some more darks. I think we'll do the shadow, the upper lip, kind of coming like this. And the nose shadow. I'm being followed by a nose shadow. 
Nose shadow, nose shadow. Nose shadow is stuck in my head now. I better up the nose shadow. I'll give him some hair back here. Kind of a contemporary look. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Black black hair. shadows work the the form shadow kind of has a softer edge and it gets darker and darker and then sometimes you get like a little we call this bounce light or rim light light that's kind of illuminates the far side of the form so we're going to be doing a lot of drawing exercises and learning a lot about how light illuminates a form and we're going to be drawing from life and we're going to be working online this summer because of the COVID situation. But we have a lot of pretty cool strategies worked out. And ways to get you to set up your lighting for your drawing. And sometimes you'll be working from images that I provide. Sometimes I'm gonna kind of set up a little scavenger hunt for things for you to seek out and draw in your own environment. Because just because we're working online doesn't mean you're going to be working all the time from a computer. It's really important to draw from actual objects that are in front of you. And if you learn how light and shadows work, then you can use them from your imagination. But it's definitely best to start off drawing from life as much as possible. So there, this looks pretty good there. I'm going to the good thing about working on toned paper is you can, you start in the middle and go darker, but then you can come in with white and work lighter. So I'm going to see he's got some nice uh, highlights hitting his eye. I'm going to hit the, the white of his, uh, bring out the white of his eye a little bit. Make him have white hair, white eyebrows like this, and the nose shadow. Oh, not a nose shadow, nose reflection. Let's go back to that nose shadow again. See some the light you see through there, so that's a little brighter. And usually the lip is a little moist, so that gets a nice little reflection there. Bring some texture into his, into his little beard. here, the top or edges. And now I'll come in with dark, make the darks even darker. Shadow under his jaw. Get a sharper pencil. And now I'm gonna just I'm gonna put some darker tone back here. So this is the kind of drawing I could easily spend another hour on, but I'm just kind of doing a little quick version right here to give you guys a taste of what we're going to be doing this summer. So if you're interested at all in illustration and children's literature, it's a fantastic program. So I do hope that you'll join us. So I'm going back and forth between value and line. I come in, sharpen up the edges a little bit, and then 
I'm going to put in more shading here and there. There are some people out there that work completely with value. Um, like uh, Chris Van Alsberg does that and Peter McCarthy. And of course, a lot of people work just with line. Like, uh, David Johnson is one person who comes to mind. But I'm going to be showing examples of how different people work. And hopefully, the more people that everyone is exposed to in their different approaches kind of helps you on your journey to discovering your own method and what works for you. But my philosophy is try out, try out everything. And then you, you kind of find out what's, what's best for you. And look at what other illustrators are doing and have done. And then also we're going to look at the, the different artists and illustrators who influenced them. Find out who they are emulating. So there's a lot to cover. Again, I could spend, uh, you know, another hour on this easily, but I think I'll just stop because I think that gave you enough of a taste. So thank you very much, and I hope I will see you this summer. Okay, bye-bye.